Hello reformers and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution. This is actually one of the games that I've been looking forward to for quite some time because it's one of those classic management simulators and I really, really appreciate the setting as well. So anyway, let's start a new game. If you want to check this game out, there is a link in the description. Hello, may I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. So welcome to the island and just I'm look Kevin at this Fish, public relations and crisis management and I'm here to help you You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab All right, so let's construct one of those We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs <laughs> Just kidding <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Life. It begins, the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. And there's our first little dinosaur. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team choose one of their contracts it'll help you develop your facility right okay so you can kind of tell there from Abbott uh, Cabot is his name Cabot well well ever never mind mr. Finch we'll, we'll say he was not a big fan of the entertainment division he was like entertainment and he was like science security and all that sort of thing so I'm gonna take entertainment just because he decided to have that Disdainful inflection. I think that's going to be fun anyway. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. 
What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Right, so we so can do contracts. Okay, that's interesting. Your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Right, so if we go into the Expedition Center here, these guys can be sent out around the world to find new dinosaur fossils. The Expedition Center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. The Entertainment Division is taking notice of your success. As your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity to tackle more challenging missions. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> All right, so we're sending out right. one of our teams I there. All about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in, and what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no. What I'm saying is, let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Ah, and I see we also have a small power station here. That's obviously something we need to balance and make sure is running perfectly. How are they doing right now? Ah, oh, they have two minutes still remaining, which is absolutely fine. Should I uh, actually incubate some more dinosaurs? or I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should. Ah, I see. Some items do have division reputation requirements that need to be met before they become available. Well, considering we're focusing on entertainment, most of that should be okay. But personally, I feel like science and security are going to be one of those things that we'll just gain naturally as time goes on anyway. Oh, it actually failed. The incubation actually failed. It was too weak to survive. That's sad. One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was going to be easy. Incubating a dinosaur with less than 100% genome can fail. The viability trait determines the chance of incubation success. Success rate upgrades applied to the Hammett Creation Lab will increase viability. Gene modifications, however, will decrease viability. Gene modifications will increase the incubation costs, but can produce dinosaurs with significant benefits and higher ratings. Right, so as you can see here, we do have a load of different upgrades that we can go for here. We can go for some power upgrades. We can go for asset containment. In other words, we can actually have tranquilizers and all kinds of stuff. And then we can otherwise use ranger accuracy. Wow, there's all kinds of things. 
These are going to be very expensive, as you can see here. So I think I'm probably just going to try and increase the total power output, probably. Maybe reduce the risk of power outages at upgraded power stations. That might be pretty good. Hmm. Introduces a 5% risk of power outage. I see. Interesting. I guess we'll go with that. Let's go to fossils as well. Did we actually bring back anything amazing? Yeah, there we go. We actually did get one of their fossils here. the One of the fossils that we actually need by the looks of things. And there's our database as well. It's like the codex. Alright, so it's now raining. And we should probably send out our team again if we can. Oh, no, no. It seems like they're not, uh, they're not yet ready. Expedition completion pending. Insufficient fossil capacity? Really? Are you serious right now? Interesting. I'm actually unsure why 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 that would be. Do I get, ah, I see. So I actually need to sell some things first by the looks of things or maybe we can extract the DNA from from these and then we'll have a greater chance of getting higher percentage genomes and things like that. Okay, so we're just going to extract the DNA from all of these things. So then we have much more space in our fossil fossil slot area here. And then hopefully we'll be able to gain the fossils from the expedition group. That should be the way to go. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Right, so as you can see, we now have the ability to extract DNA from very high quality things. Very high quality DNA. So let's cancel the extraction on all of these things. And we will try to just focus on the very high quality things right now. This is obviously low quality right now. And this can just be sold for money. So I'm going to sell that. And this can also be sold for money. So we now have a couple of extra slots here anyway. But this is definitely going to give us a pretty amazing increase. As you can see here, look, it's increasing it by 5%, maybe even 6 I think it's probably going to increase by about 12%, maybe? If we're lucky enough, then it, will, it should increase it by that amount. And then hopefully we'll be able to get some more from this one as well. We're going to extract the DNA from this next. And uh, we are getting some more information on that and there you go new viable genome very nice and there's two minutes left on the power upgrades here i don't know what's worse treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities and then we do have island navigation as well you can see here that you can go to all kinds of different islands which is very nice and uh yeah it, we now have viable genomes for the other dinosaurs that we very much needed for the entertainment mission. Yeah, that did not give us very much, did it? No, not at all. But that's okay. Just a little bit of increase is better than nothing. Okay, so we must now incubate. Okay, so this unfortunately failed, so let's incubate another one. This is 60%. Okay, 60% chance. 550,000, I bet it better work. That's all I can say. It better work, because 550,000 is a lot of money for a potential fail, but that's how it is. A greater variety of dinosaurs will improve your island rating, and so attract more guests. So let's have a look at our finances, actually. We're currently losing 7,000 per minute, which is obvious due to our usage at the moment. And there we go, we've, we've completed our first research project. We'll probably need to do something more with that. Where is my research? Ah, there's the research. Okay, so let's have a look. Mm. We should probably upgrade a little bit more here. Let's upgrade our power usage now, because we've already upgraded the... Well, the chance of it actually going out. So I think that's pretty good. Getting more safety and then more power is a good idea. Alright, so we're almost done. Another 2% to go. And let's hope that it actually... Yeah, there we go. It was successful. I guess it's because it's the tutorial. It is going to just give you the success. Happy 
guest is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, definitely. And the, oh, there's our first one. I, I'm actually kind of thinking that this guy is going to be like, yes, let me go nom 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 on the uh, on the little one. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's just leave them to it, and we're going to construct a fast food restaurant right here. So I guess we should get that. There it is. And we should probably put it at the very beginning, because this is where the guests will arrive. So it would make sense for us to put it right here, wouldn't it? I think that would make sense. So let's see what I can do about that. You've done good work in the past. That's why I know you are perfect for this contract. All right, so another mission here. Extract new DNA in the fossil center to increase a dinosaur genome to at least 50%. I think that's what I've actually already done, but we're going to continue doing that anyway. So let's accept that. And let's go into our fossil center here. And we're just going to extract DNA from basically all of these. And then we're also going to send our expedition team out because they are now available once again, and we should probably tell them to go somewhere. That is partially depleted. All right, well, we don't need, really need to go there now then. So I guess... So now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well... That's maybe another story. And there we have it. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. And we're probably going to need to synthesize a whole bunch of other ones to make sure that the big guy is not hungry. Because otherwise, you never know. He's gonna just burst through one of these gates and be like, Hello, humans, nom nom nom. Yes. It's probably going to do that. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if I can incubate a couple more then. This is not going to be too bad, but if they continue to fail, then that's obviously not great. Don't really want to spend 30000 for that, but we are obviously, hopefully, going to be gaining a whole bunch. Okay, so we need to research something from the research center, so let's actually go and do that right away. We're going to need to do that. Buildings. Clothes shop. Okay, that's going to take less than a minute. No problem at all there, but you can see how many people are coming out of the fast food store. I mean, really, there's a huge amount of them. I, I hope they're spending a lot of money. Yes, or at the very least, enjoying themselves, because that's the kind of thing we need for our rating. And uh, how are we actually doing on finances right now? Ooh, very nice, actually. Very nice. 43,000 per minute. And we also now have a dinosaur ready to be released. And we have another one also ready to be released. So let's hope that they don't actually get killed immediately by the big guy. I would appreciate that. Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. Right, so let's get a clothes shop, shall we? Where is it? We need to also do a viewing gallery. Okay, well, I don't know where the viewing gallery is. Maybe I can scroll down here. Ah, I see. Okay. Dinosaurs can die from starvation, dehydration, combat, hunting, disease, or old age at the end of their lifespan. Length of lifespan is determined by a dinosaur's lifespan trait, which can be improved by genetic modification. Dead dinosaurs should be removed with a transport team to prevent disease. Ah, interesting. Okay, so that's what I have to do. Do I have to do that unless... Okay, so apparently I don't have to do that if the dinosaur was killed by another dinosaur and it was going nom nom on it. Yes, apparently that's what's gone on there. All right, well, let's place another one of these around here. Right next to the food store, I guess. Sounds good to me. And we can also take a look at our fossils now. And we can actually extract the DNA from these. And we can sell this for 100,000. Very nice. And I think, has our expedition team actually come back right now? I think it might, it might have. Yeah, it already came back. That was quick. That was very, very fast. Okay, so I guess we'll just start an expedition there. And I'd like to be able to increase the amount of dig teams I have, but I guess I need to 
unlock that with research, probably. Okay, so let's also get a viewing gallery here. So let me see whether I can find that. Where is the viewing gallery? There's a gift shop, monorail station, arcade, toy shop, fossil zone, a bar, a bowling alley, a restaurant. I don't see one, actually. Is it the gift shop? I don't think so. A viewing gallery? Maybe it needs to be some. Maybe it's somewhere else. Or maybe I just need to unlock it or something, but it doesn't seem... Wow, there's all kinds of feeders and everything. As... Oh, there's the viewing gallery. Oh, fantastic. A window into the past that increases dinosaur visibility for park guests. Can be attached directly to enclosure fences. Right, so I'm probably going to need to... I don't know, I should probably place it around about here. So then they can see the dinosaurs leaving the incubation chamber. That might be the best idea. Let's actually just see where the dinosaurs are mostly going to be. Maybe around here, I guess. That seems to be the best place, perhaps. They are a little bit out of range here, though, unfortunately. But hopefully, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it's going to just have to do for now. Can I not go further than that? Apparently not. Going to have to go this way. Right, okay. Well, that's not too bad, I guess, but they are going to... Oh, there's another dead dinosaur, because the big guy's hungry again, apparently. Okay, so let's have a look at his statistics, actually. When is he going to die? He has... He's a large carnivore. Wow, he's, he's immune to all kinds of things. He's susceptible to this, which I have no idea about. He has an 80 rating, actually. That's pretty good. Combat infamy is plus 7, because obviously he's amazing. He's done a lot of damage. Okay, so he's age 3 right now, and his expected lifespan is 61. So he's going to be around for quite some time. He is absolutely murdering these. Construct a live bait feeder. Right, well, I guess I'm going to do that. Where is a live bait feeder? Well, I'm going to try and just get these guys... Another one at the very least. Okay, so where's a live bait feeder? It's probably operations or something, isn't it? Maybe something like that. Enclosures. Live bait. There we go. Live bait feeder provides meat and nutrients for carnivorous dinosaurs in a mobile package. Although less efficient in nutrient delivery than the carnivore feeder, it, satisfi it satisfies food and provides activity for the hunter. Feeders must be regularly resupplied by a ranger team. Right. Okay, so I guess I'll place this in front of the uh, of the viewing enclosure. Is that is that is that good? I guess I could do that. Let's let's do that then, I guess. And uh this is going to have to be removed somehow. How am I going to do that actually? Okay. Well, I'm going to need to get someone. Oh, a transmission is incoming. Oh, nice. We gained a, a million. Very nice indeed. Hey, way to go. We've got our park running at maximum happiness, and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results. Am I right? When the parks are running well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. Mm, I, I was going to add... Th no. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. Later, Doc. Ugh. Yeah, as you can see, them just having a good old fun Man, time right there. We know how to put on a show. That's what I call star power. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that actually did work. Oh, that was pretty cool. Okay, and uh, apparently we're doing pretty well so far, which is kind of amazing. I mean, obviously it is the tutorial again, but you know. It's kind of nice to see that. Okay, so what do we have here? Ooh, nice. We've got a very high quality amber right there. And then some low quality, but that's fine. That's pretty good. Okay, so he's he's doing absolutely fine, this fellow. And, uh, yeah, apparently the viewing gallery is doing okay as so well. you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. 
Ah, interesting. Okay, so I could technically get more viewing galleries, but I've now placed a live bait feeder right there, so technically that's okay, you know. People can can see that. And uh, I do want to get some range. Ah, there's a ranger station. Ranger, ranger teams can be dispatched to repair buildings and objects, resupply feeders, and so on and so forth. So I'd like to be able to get them maybe around here, because that's kind of close to the enclosure where we need them to kind of be. So maybe like that would be good. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Right. Okay, so I'm going to build another power station then, by the looks of things. Small power station. Let's build it. Uh, uh, yes, that's... Uh, terrain. The terrain's being annoying. Okay, well, what about here? Mm, that's probably not the best. Maybe around here? Hmm. I was hopeful I might be able to do it. Nope, that's not going to work. I guess there is as good a place as any. Okay, so we can build some pylons. And can we go across? Yeah, it seems like we can go across the path, so that's, that's reasonable. There you go. Okay, well that's... That's good enough, right? That should be good enough, hopefully. Oh, yes, and also we need to attach. Don't we need to attach this building to the power? I'm not entirely sure about that, actually, just yet, because obviously this has not been completed just yet, so hopefully it will be soon. Maybe we actually need to place some, some power lines along here. Oh, we got some more amber, very nice. Still not constructed just yet, but soon. Very soon. And what about our research? How's our research doing? We can release another dinosaur there. Maybe we want to get some other dinosaurs actually as well. But, yeah, we need to also get... Maybe another viewing, viewing place, a viewing gallery. There you go. Let's place it around here, I guess. I'm soon going to run out of money, because I'm like, yes, spend the monies. Exactly, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, live bait feeder right there, and what can I do with the ranger station? Okay, so I can actually add new teams, and there's ranger team one, so I can add a task for them to resupply feeders, for example. So, can I, se can I select that? Yeah, I can select that over here. Responding to resupply request. Aha, uh -huh. and then they'll go over there and do that. So I'm actually unsure how it's actually going to ha get in there. Ah, there's a gate. Oh, okay, so they'll, they'll go in through the gate then. Please make sure there are no dinosaurs on the other side, otherwise you're going to have a very nasty surprise. Yes, exactly. Anyway, <laughs> that is going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more of Jurassic World Evolution, no, then uh, please one. please do we'll let me know. Strong. And otherwise, if you'd like to check it out yourself, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.